This is Twit. So this week's command line tip is open snitch. Now, this is a port for Linux of the Mac OS tool, Little Snitch. Basically, it's a, a firewall which reports back network requests from applications. So then a user can create rules to block the request if needed. So why do you need this? Well, when an app says it doesn't need internet access and suddenly starts sending out network packets, why would it need to do that? Mm -hmm. Is it sending telemetry data that, you know, was unknown? You know, it's not supposed to send telemetry, but it is. Is it nefarious software? Man, did somebody get into something and what you got isn't what you think you have? Or is it just simply maybe checking for an update? I mean, there can be legitimate reasons and there can be bad reasons. You know, it, it requires more investigation, but it's helpful to know first. So the article in the show notes has a link to the GitHub page where they have the prepackaged uh, .deb and .rpm files. Now, if you're, not, if you're not using those, there's a course source code. And so then you can compile it yourself. Uh, basically, you install the, the daemon and then you fire up the client GUI, you know, install that and fire it up and start the service. Then you open the GUI and you can start making rules for your applications. Uh, you can enable or deny the traffic or you can even limit it to a specific host. So, yeah, it's got to talk, but it needs to only talk to this specific IP. You know, you, you can you can set that up. Uh, there's I won't go into all the details. The article goes into various things you can do to customize the rules and a, a lot of details on how to use them. And but if you just fire it up, you know, just the basic deny or allow are pretty simple to use, you know, if you're not getting anything too fancy or crazy, um, you know, and with all the malicious software out there and, you know, people sometimes being a little rambunctious on their telemetry data, you know, opting, <laughs> opting you in rather than, uh, and requiring you to opt out versus, Hey, maybe I, I would like the opportunity to say, yes, I would give this information out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take a look at open snitch. Uh, and take more granular control of your system and give it a try. Yeah, very cool. I, I'm curious, and I'm sure this is this was probably not something that was on your radar when you were looking at this. But what immediately comes to mind is, I wonder if how well this does um, defeating programs that sort of are intending to hide their their network activity. You know, they're, they're sort of the root kit kind of approaches where you, you do things to avoid getting on the radar of somebody like, so for example, there was a uh, security story from this week where a new technique was found where malicious programs were bind mounting. So in the slash proc directory, that's where the, the, that's where most of these sort of um, stats for processes live is in slash proc. And there was this new technique that was found in the wild. So malware was doing this where a malicious program was bind mounting another applications slash proc folder over its own. And so whenever these tools would go and access it, they would just, they would go by default to the one that was bind mounted. And so, you know, you would go to look up the dat the stats on this process that you're trying to figure out. And it would go over to something that was completely benign. And the, the malicious process was hiding that way. Um, it's just, that was a fascinating story to read about and sort of understand what was going on. Uh, but also uh, with something like this, I always have to wonder. Well, it would, it would probably show up in the firewall. It's just wh what would it label it as? And it, you right. could, but you, you could maybe catch it depending on what it, it tried to hide as, you know, mm -hmm. Oh, it's, I'm hiding under the web browser. And you're like, but I don't have my web browser open. And this thing is pinging. It's like, Whoa. yeah. And maybe start looking at the addresses that it's sending packets out to or, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I, you can't hide. Yeah. I, I think you could probably catch it, but you'd have to be paying close attention. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out the Untitled Linux show. You can find us in your favorite podcasting app or subscribe to our YouTube channel down in the links below. See you there.